Good morning. Today we are uh, finishing up questions about death. So far we looked at what is death and what is it like to die. And, uh, and then uh, uh, we come now to the, to the final one, and that is a question about ghosts. Um, question is, uh, do our ghosts real? Do we become ghosts? Do we do we sort of occupy some uh, you know some space, some haunted house, whatever? Um, what what actually is happening when we die? Are there people that become ghosts? So it's worth noting, belief in ghosts have been around for a long time. Uh, we certainly have got a you know a, a, a big industry right now about ghosts and movies and TV shows and haunted houses and all those kinds of things. Uh, I just finished reading a book uh, about the Salem Witch Trials, which is trying to posit that it was a novel, but whatever. Uh, so lots of thinking about ghosts and witches, and there's obviously seances and all kinds of things that are happening around the periphery. And then you have also, a little bit more of substantive, you have, um, you have a lot of cultures that worship ancestors and talk about and believe that the ancestors are still somehow living among them and being part of that. So it raises the question, uh, are ghosts real? Well, uh, a, few, a few thoughts to start your day. Uh, the answer to the question uh, from a biblical standpoint, which is what we're doing here, is it depends upon who's defining ghost. So um, if the term means spirit beings, right, are, there, are there spiritual beings? Uh, the answer is a qualified yes. So if by spirit beings we mean some of us, that our spirits are sort of wandering around, um, you know, animating uh, things that are happening in the home, like, you know, people will say, I feel like, you know, my, my dad passed away. I feel like he's there in the house. I mean, well, no, we don't, we don't get any sense of that in, in Scripture. Now, if what is meant by spirit beings is um, angels and demons, then the answer is, is obviously yes. Uh, the Bible teaches that there, are, uh, that there are spiritual beings that don't have a body. Uh, and angels are, are spiritual beings of holiness and righteousness, uh, messengers of God. Demons are uh, fallen angels who rebelled against God. They're evil, they're destructive, they're deceptive. Uh, they often masquerade as angels of light, servants of righteousness. Uh, and so could they appear uh, as a ghost in some sense? Yeah, you know, um, look, uh, I think we can look at, some of that happening because the term ghosts get used in the Bible. Uh, you got Samuel uh, calling up, you know, the, the ghosts of Endor. You got some, you got some weird passages of where you got some sort of spiritual dynamics that are a little bit hard for us to sort of figure out. Um, I guess what I want to say is um, belief in the paranormal uh, is, seems to be growing. Um, and I, uh, you know, I, I encourage people to just to not hire ghost hunters and to not get close to Ouija boards and all this stuff, some of which I think is just, just it's just schlock. It's just, it's just charlatans taking advantage of you. But at the same time, I recognize that there is a spiritual reality of dark forces and that we need to be very uh, alert to them. So um, the, the thing that I want to stress is that, yes, the Bible talks about, again, uh, 1 Samuel 28, you know, the, the spirit of Endor where Samuel uh, wants, to, wants to call up um, the dead. Um, Saul wants to call up Samuel, who's dead, you know, to get advice about how to live his life. And, uh, you know, you've got discussions in, in the Gospels about the spirits of the dead. Uh, after the resurrection of Jesus Christ that were up and, you know, had come out of the grave. You've got some supernatural things that happened at Christ's death. So um, you, you've, got, uh, you, you've got some things happening that are odd and exceptional. But as a general rule, 
Uh, are there ghosts? No, uh, there are not ghosts. And uh, we are told in the book of Hebrews uh, that we are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses. So there is a sense in which uh, the saints are around us, but not as ghosts. That's not the way that that gets discussed. And I want to encourage you to, uh, again, when it comes to all the fears and exorcisms and all the seances and all that stuff, I want to encourage you to recognize that there are, there are spiritual forces of darkness that we need to avoid. And uh, we, we don't need to go uh, to other people. We need to fall and claim the name of Jesus. Have a good day.